am doing everything in Disney World. A thousand days and a hundred tasks. We gotta keep going. I asked him not to do this. It's absolutely heard me right. We are doing all 1,000 things in Disney World. We have 100 days to do it all. And if I'm able to do it, I can bring my friends Quincy and Frybucket with me to Paris. We have a computer intelligence bestie. Her name is Agnes. So far, these are our stats. This is how things are looking. I'm bi I've been proud of us. We are picking up the pace. And Agnes is actually the keeper of our task list. And she's the one who tells us what our challenges are for the day, what we're doing, and what the day is gonna look like. So Agnes, tell us, what are we doing today? Ah, welcome back to the Edge. We are going to start catching up. 12 items have been set to your device. For today's challenge, every time you see an animal, you must give it a backstory. Have a wild time. Okay, good morning. We are starting bright and early with some breakfast. And I'm really excited about this one. Unofficially, we both already got our coffees. It is bright. It's very it's bright, it's very toasty, warm. And it's early. And it's early. It's bright and early, That's what and I it's that toasty. Was that was the bed. Yeah, I just didn't know if it would land. It, did, it didn't. Okay, yeah, no, you're good, you're good. We're gonna walk that off by getting some <laughs> delicious <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> We're here at Kusafiri Coffee Shop and Bakery. Now, this is actually, I feel like, a, one of those hidden gems in Animal Kingdom, because, because it's, literally a hole in the wall. it's literally a hole in the wall. A lot of people walk past it, and I actually think their lunch is outstanding. Yes. It's really kind of chill, low key. I love it. They have some good pastries, which we've had before. I ended up going with the egg and bacon croissant sandwich. It's a croissant with a cheese omelet, crispy bacon, a tomato pepper relish, and potato barrels. I got the breakfast tachos, which is potato barrels, otherwise known as tater tots, scrambled eggs, nacho cheese sauce, cheese curds, and crumbled bacon. Mmm. Cheers. It's literally just like the best like ingredients. It's just like cheese, eggs, bacon, cheese. carbs, or cheese. It's delicious. We did it. All right, we are going to Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail because it's here in Africa. We don't have to travel too far f uh, for it. And we've actually already done this full trail in an earlier episode of Everything Walt Disney World. But it's crazy, and I actually did not know this. Disney actually considers each animal its own attraction. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're, we're not allowed to look at any of the other animals on this trail. No, that's not. Yeah, that, that's, it, it literally, Agnes said, Hippos. Agnes did it. Go, see the, go see the hippos. Gorilla Falls. All other animals are off limits. Now it's the second part that I think maybe we're adding some Agnes words. She, she is, you know, she can be fickle and I want to make sure we're following her her robotic oh. rules. So just close, all right, close your eyes. Uh, We're going in. No, I think that's not safe. <laughs> Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail is uh, a uh, basically a walkthrough experience here in Africa. If you're interested in uh, checking out these walkthrough experiences, these nature trails, these animal trails, uh, definitely check out when they open and when they close because oftentimes they close before park closing. Uh, so the, I think the park closes at Seven today? Six today? Six? Six? Mm -hmm. Oh, so the park, so so the actually, so the animal trail actually closes at, at park closing today. But sometimes that's not always the case. Emma, I know this is difficult. You cannot look at these birds. I just saved. I think I saw a bird. Follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> okay, these are the only animals we're allowed to look at. Lucky the hippos. This is one of my favorite spots. And unluckily for us, it's also one of the stinkiest spots. It is the most zoo-like, I would argue, but you can actually see these guys if you are on Kilimanjaro safaris, but um, if you're really lucky, they sometimes will get pretty close to these windows. I see the um, top of someone, is, yeah. or is that a rock? No, 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 that's, a, that's, his, that's his back. That's the back, okay. So, this, you can't see them through the murky water yeah, all the way in the back. You see him? There. Oh, there he is. I don't think the zoom in is really helping, but he's there. He's there. Or she. Oh, her. A hippo. A hippo all the way in the back. Oh, look, there are his eyes. There's his eyes. Okay, I like to think that his name is Gregory. I think Gregory. His name is Gregory. Where do you, what do you think? Uh, Start. Greg, Gregory's good. I think Gregory always um, was 
destined uh, for, for greatness, um, uh -huh. but his parents just didn't want him to go into the same career as uh, um, being a hippo. Oh, yeah, yeah. So instead, um, he went into accounting. Oh, but it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Because he is a hippo. Because he is a hippo. And so now he, to the chagrin of his parents, has shifted over to hippo entertainment, hippo entertainment. which is how he got hired by Disney Event Group. Uh, and if you're interested in finding more out about this hippo, <laughs> You can check out his website, www.doinghippothings.edu. Oh, he's a, he's a school. <laughs> he's a school. That's nice. I like that. Well, Gregory, we're so proud of you pursuing your passions. Thank you for letting us stare at you for a strange Hippo amount of time. Hippo entertainment is important. We made it to our next stop. Wildlife Explorer, we're here uh, in Asia, right across from uh, Yak and Yeti at the Wildlife Field Station. We're gonna do, there's actually two badges here, but I technically animal call badges, the one that's on our oh, list for the day. Okay. Asia has an activity for you, complete it to earn your badge. She's gonna make us do a call. Oh no. It's tough. I got really lucky my last few times. They didn't make you do it? Uh, well, I was with a group for one of them. Oh, so that's all nice. the kids answered. And then the other one, she was like really, really nice. And she like filmed on camera with me. And oh, that's just, nice. You know, like marching together, like nobody made me like howl alone. That's fun. We're gonna start with our animal sounds. So I wanna play a sound, and I want you to guess what animal it is. Okay. okay. <laughs> we are frog. Frog, yeah. Now this next one's from Asia. I think it's a tiger. That's our tiger. Yeah. They even learned how to make paper out of silly things like elephant poop. <laughs> even what's crazy is we learned a lot about recently the bird friendly coffee. Bird friendly coffee is because where they grow coffee, they usually cut down all the trees so that there are no trees there. So that means no place for our migratory birds to go. So that doesn't give them a home, right? by putting it in the shade shade room, it can actually help the world. And so Smithsonian has been working all around the world to trying to make bird friendly coffee. So we did get both badges. Agnes Sorry. let us know she, if it counts. She literally she just, just said, gave it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got our animal call badge. And we got our forestry badge. And what we learned is that the si Simeng, Simeng ape, uh, because it doesn't have a tail, yeah. and uh, has has big uh, 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 she said blown up like throat, a coconut. a coconut throat, because he's got a microphone in his chest. Yeah. Did not know bamboo grew three, feet, three in day. feet in a day. That was crazy. And honestly, I don't know. I always <laughs> so I'm gonna give bamboo to fry. Am I right? Because <laughs> she's so. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with, with you guys. Um, we are just wandering, <laughs> and then every once in a while we go, oh wait! We passed our thing! We passed our task! So we are gonna have to do some backtracking. I really like the wandering vibe though. I do, and Animal Kingdom is a good wander, like yes. wandering area because there's just there's lots to see, gorgeous. You know, uh, just environments. Uh, typically, you know, I would. Say, it used to be, I, I would say, the hottest park in Disney World. Um, I don't know if I. I don't know if that's true anymore. Well, bad news, kids. The bridge is out. We're standing on the bridge. Uh, oh, sorry. The photographer on the bridge is out. Yeah, he's he or she is not here currently. Let me see. This this is a problem that we found consistently because like. We, I have gotten some questions like, why don't you just do them when you pass them? They're not always out if they're on the list. So, let's and see. also sometimes we forget. So, oh, hey, also very just true. like cool it. <laughs> Can you give me just a break on the photo pass? <laughs> okay, let's see. We're standing here. He's supposed to be here right now. So, maybe we'll start. Someone back is about to be in trouble. <laughs> maybe Agnes, if this photo pass doesn't show up, she'll count both of our badges. Maybe. So we'll see if that's a fair trade. Agnes, let us know. Beep boop. <laughs> just, oh, is that offensive? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dinner, do. Meeting Dale. Now, uh, 
we have met Chip already, but you know, it's 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 unfortunate because, you know, according to Agnes, we're only there to meet one of them. To tell them we're only there for one of them would just be like so hurtful. So hurtful. What if you really hone in on Dale, so that way he feels a little more love, hone in on Chip again, you know? Well, it's not, but I'm not the one doing everything at Disney World. I mean, I'll hone in. I just didn't know if you wanted to be more included. No, 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 no. I, I, I want you to make sure that you know that I appreciate you here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but I, but I can also move Chip out of the way. Okay, hip Chip. <laughs> no, I can be like, hey. No, you're going to hit him. <laughs> Hello. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey! Oh, I love that. You guys look incredible. Yeah, today. I'm good. I all love it. Good, you've got all the good music, the good moves, the good outfits. Exactly. This is just the place to be, I think. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I could not know. agree more. A must see, if you will. Oh, your, your, your name. Yes. Oh, the. Mu uh, you are a must-see. Yes. I understand. Yes, you guys are. Yes, the must-see yes. Chimunkasaurus. <laughs> and it is indeed an amazing find. It is. That's now true. I'm just reading the board. Very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's done. We did meet Dale. Uh, he gave us um, a great little turn there. Oh, I think absolutely. we made them laugh. I think we made them genuinely laugh. I think we had a good time. We read the board. We did read so. the board. Uh, I, I actually do think... Every time we do that, and I'm only for some reason I'm only doing that meet and greet with you. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Even in ride races when we're separate, we, we always do that. And that one is always fun. It is always fun. I really enjoy that. I knew it. <laughs> just Dino Bites. We just we're looking up on the My Disney Experience app, and, and it's it's not open at all. It, it just, just says, says closed. closed, no hours. And I have to be honest with y'all. Disney did say fall 2024. They're, they're when, starting to make. Things start, we're fear mongering right now. We have no evidence that this is happening. But we just were looking and now we're scared. Ah! So next up on the list is Trilo Bites, which is just a small snack stand right outside of Dinoland USA. It's got three specialty uh, things, really. Shall we? Okay, this is what we ended up going with from Trilo Bites. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite snacks in Animal Kingdom uh, is the buffalo more? chicken chips with house-made chips, buffalo chicken, and a blue cheese dressing with some tomato and celery relish. And then Sage got a root beer. <laughs> I don't. No, you know what, just take your time. Let's just do whatever Emma wants to do today. Oh, sorry. That's a mean joke. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers. cheers. Wow. That grunt. Another something that I've really enjoyed about these uh, house-made chips is they, they don't get soggy, they're really nice, they're crunchy, they're oily, but in the best way. Um, the chicken, the buffalo chicken part of it, mm -hmm. it's not too spicy, it's that Disney spice, so it's gonna have like... It's just the buffalo flavor, not the heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I know that these are actually vegan, thanks to Reed Love, mm -hmm. and they're some of his favorite snacks, and you can get them just on their own, like in Magic Kingdom which is something I find myself doing quite a bit, actually. We're walking back this way, no photo pass. No so, photo Agnes, pass. please. And the bridge is out. And the bridge is out. No, no, no the, I'm sorry. The, the, fo the photo pass bridge is person is out. not out. He, well, maybe he called out. Maybe he called out. He called out sick. The photo pass bridge person is called, called out. out. Oh, no. This was another case of walked right past it, and I don't know why, but there is a Wilderness Explorer badge that is on the oh, list. Yeah that is down here and I see the signage and I see the Wilderness Explorer. And just in case you don't know, you don't have to start at the very beginning. If you see one and you want to get started, you just go ahead and start where you're at. They have them for you. Oh, uh, got it. So we're doing the Mount okay, so Everest Mount badge. Mount Everest is inside. The Yeti badge is outside. But the Mount Everest badge. In case you ever see these signs, you know that a Wilderness Explorer uh, booth is near. You see this and this is where you get your multiple stamps. So hey, you can grab your Wilderness Explorer stamp here. These two, all right, let's go. We're gonna visit Mount Everest and consider joining an expedition. You can find the same gear by searching in the village mountain below. Like any quarry, you must assemble the gear you will need on your expedition. How many of these items on the list can you find in the village below the mountain? So we have to find these like everywhere? Yeah, so then find your badge guide inside the shop at the exit of Expedition Everest and show them what you found to earn your badge. Oh, okay, so we need to find these things and then we go get our badge. Okay, lantern, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes, but they might be in here in the bazaar as well. Yes, those are lanterns. I'm gonna take a picture so we can show them. Backpack. backpack. That's definitely a backpack. Okay. And there's a water canteen on it. Oh. Does it two for one right there? 
water container. There's oh, a canteen on there. It's a canteen, but not a container. Are we looking for a container, maybe? Okay. But I guess it does contain water. Well, let's use that for the backpack. Okay, so backpack. Watch this be the hardest scavenger hunt we've ever done. We're taking pictures of the wrong things. That's definitely an ice pick. Oh, hold on. Is there an ice pick up here? I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, it's this. I think it's all right there. That's an ice pick. And and a canteen in a row. Okay, I guess all of our answers were right. Yeah, he he didn't check, but we were right. Successful. We've gotten three badges now. I hope they all count. I ch do we just, I, I think you're on something. I think maybe we just do all of, like, can we give Agnes a call and just say, hey, can, can we just, we do, just do the wilderness all Explorer wilderness explorers event? today? I would love that, that's my dream thing. <laughs> Next up, we're doing drink walla. This is one spot that you can get a handful of things, but this is where you come for a frozen Coke. And this is what we're here for is a frozen Coke. But the thing that's really neat about this spot is if you want kind of an adult frozen Coke, you can actually get that over here. You can also get the hand dipped Mickey ice cream premium bar. So if the chocolate Mickey ice cream bar isn't enough and you want a little more chocolate on it, you can get that as well. A frozen Coke. You can get this with Jack Daniels or spiced rum. I got neither. Uh, I have already had a soda today, so I went full blue raspberry. Wow. Um, Here, I'm gonna bring me a toucher straw. Uh, There's still pieces of paper. I don't typically do paper straws because it grosses me out. But we're an animal kingdom. But we're an animal. What? We're respecting the animals. No, sometimes I just don't do so. I wouldn't do straws altogether. I'm just trying to be considerate of them. I wait. Hold, hold no. Hold on now. I'm just saying that like I, I I opt out of a paper straw altogether. I mean I just want to use a straw, not that I would use a, a plastic straw instead. What what am I saying wrong? <laughs> just like some of us care about conservation. I do too! <laughs> All right, we have made it to the Tree of Life. We're actually behind the Tree of Life, but is there a behind the Tree of Life? I think this would be considered behind the tree. Because the entrance to Stuff to Be Bug is on the other side. The Technically, a tree is round, so there's no, like, there's no backside to it. Yeah. The Tiny World shot uh, is here at the backside of the Tree of Life. It basically uh, does a super cool effect where it makes it look like you are standing on uh, a, a tiny animal kingdom world. They're very silly. Yeah, we did this with all of our Ollier's friends uh, over the holidays. There are fun different like magic shots and uh, super zoom shots and uh, tiny world shots all over Disney parks. It's not just your, your normal photo pass, which we do love a photo pass moment, specifically these fun extra magic ones. Uh, they're very cool. Hello, good, how are you? Before? Yeah. Tiny world. Yes, one we have. One of the perfect. So you got the idea. Yeah. It's time. Get your backstories ready, everybody. Get your back. I like when you lead the way. It means I don't have to think. Yeah, Sage has to carry the camera a lot because I don't have pockets. So. <laughs> Come on. Come on, everyone. <laughs> hey, everybody. Follow the lady with no pockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are supposed to see the ring-tailed lemur, which is uh, an exhibit here right outside of it's Stuff to Be a Bug. Let's look around a little bit. It, we, we realized there might be a snag in this plant. Because it's very hot today. Very. And typically, uh, they, they don't want to come out. Look, there's one. <laughs> That's a duck. Oh, a duck. Look, there's another. That's a duck. Okay. <laughs> I don't think they're out. No. We might have to circle back. Agnes, what is happening in Animal Kingdom today? It's kind of sad the more you think about it. We've been standing here going... Maybe. And who can say when they're lost? We don't know the words. I don't know the words. No, no I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right, we're going to hopefully come back for the lemurs. With these habitats here in... Um, Discovery Island, as well as the Oasis, which is at the front of the park. It's always a hit or miss, especially in the middle of the day like it is right now. Yeah. Um, because sometimes the animals are not brought out. Yeah. Sometimes it's too hot and they're hiding. Okay, our other one is the kangaroos, who you can see, here's their sign, the red kangaroo. 
we will see if we can find these marsupials. Typically, you can see them behind the tree or here on the side, but it might just be too hot for everybody. Might just be too hot. I see some birds, not the flamingos. I see some birds in the back, but I'm not laying eyes on a kangaroo's age. So, I don't really know what to do here. I hate to say it, but we might have to call Agnes today. I, I literally was thinking the same thing. We've not had great luck <clears throat> at uh, Animal Kingdom today, specifically. But the tasks are honestly getting a little harder because we, we've done like a lot of the big things. Mm -hmm. And now, we, now we're being tasked with some of the smaller things yes. that don't happen all the time. So yeah. I'm, I'm really... We, we might have to give her a call. I should probably be the one to call her because she typically answers when I call. Yeah, so true. <laughs> she answers your calls. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, we'll have you call for sure. I want to pick a flamingo and I'm going to tell her story. I feel very connected to this diva right here. Yeah, she just tried to bite somebody. I knew she was my girl. So this Who is... Which one? Jenny. This one? No, 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 on this one. Look where I'm zoomed. Her. Oh, I see. That's Jenny. And Jenny is really high up in sales marketing here at Animal Kingdom. She specifically works with the holiday specials that are offered. She feels really passionately about the nighttime tree of life spectaculars that happen during the Christmas season. Um, and the guy that she bit was suggesting that maybe they don't do that this year. And so she was really fighting for her, her passions and her job and making sure that special events still come back to Animal Kingdom. So that's Jenny, that's her story. Okay, well, while we're waiting on the animals and we're debating if we're gonna call Agnes, we have put our name down for what we want to be our last thing today. And that's our lunch, our very nice lunch um, at one of our favorite spots in Animal Kingdom that you cannot make reservations for. It is walk-up only. So we've added our name to the walk-up wait list for Nomad Lounge. I did join the walk-up list uh, a little while ago. Uh, to, it's gonna take us about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and we're 35 minutes left. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. So, yeah, in this, in this time, if you were on vacation, I would tell you, like, go explore, go hang out. We are trying to decide if we call our AI best, best friend team. boss in charge of us, who's so kind and gentle. Yeah. They're all pink and white. Do you know why they're pink? Okay, so what if I told you they were pink? Because of what they eat. Hey, she didn't answer. Yeah, she did. Show me the phone. <clears throat> no, she's yeah, so she did. <laughs> what? And yes, house. I am losing That's weight. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Okay, so we're having a hard time. So what should we do instead? <clears throat> um, oh, that's crazy. Okay. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> and she didn't answer. Yeah, yeah. Agnes is voiced by our editor Chris's um, daughter, and so shout out to you. But there is, we have acting Agnes. Hey! We kind of run into some problems. We have run into some problems. The lemurs are not out, the kangaroos are not out. There's a chance that they're not coming out. And I'm hoping you approve. We've already switched one task because the photo pass didn't come out. So we did an extra wilderness explorer badge for that. Is that okay? Ugh, again with the phone calls. Well, Agnes approved. So this is Creature Comforts, the Starbucks location here at Animal Kingdom. Right across from Creature Comforts is one of my other oh, out, one of my favorite uh, animal habitats. Oh my gosh, look at them go. Look how active they are. So these are cotton top tamarind uh, monkeys. Uh, they are found only in the tropical forests of Northwest Colombia. I like them because they're so small. They're small and they're, and they're active and they got little cute faces. Well, what's their story? What's her story? Let's say what we think their name is at the same time on the count of three. One, two, three. Brittany. Oh. More? Yeah, more. <laughs> I like more. More and Brittany. 
uh, oh my gosh, that's so strange. Yes, oh, they just got in a, in, in a terrible fight. Yeah, over money. Over money. Fight, it's always about money. It's always about money. Fight, but that, and that's. Who has the most beautiful fur coat? Yes, because one spends too much money, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I, the other penny pinches. Getting, but one spends too much money getting their fur coat exactly. done. Exactly. You know, and so they're, they're, they're kind of going they're through a struggle. But their mother thinks they can come back together. Yeah. Hey, let us know if this is relatable content. <laughs> Babarusa. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's, he's hiding in. The, oh, there he is. He's hiding in the mud. Wow, he's so close. He is so close. I'm actually really impressed. Babarusa. Basically, it translates baby, to baby. pig deer. Let's see if you um, pronounce it better. Pig deer. Oh, all right. I'm probably not doing it justice. The Babarusa translates to pig deer, a reference to the antler-shaped tusks of the male. This Asian pig searches the muddy rainforest floor for leaves, roots, nuts, fruits, and invertebrates to crush with its strong jaws and teeth. My goodness. Aww, that's so sweet. What's its story? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like Charlie? Charlie? I don't know. No. Rudy, Charlie. you wanna go Rudy? Let's go Rudy. Rudy or Alan? Rudy. Rudy? I think Rudy's song. That's <laughs> So this is Rudy. He um he just graduated college. Mm-hmm. What was his degree in? Um culinary. Mm -hmm. Culinary arts. arts. That's nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and he's just uh honestly he's he's up all night prepping the kitchen. Mm -hmm. He's on the night shift right now. He's on the night shift right now. He's 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 resting and um, and honestly, he's just trying to make a living uh, for his family back at home. Yeah, and he has a passion. He does have a passion. One day he's gonna open his own bakery. <laughs> his own bakery. So that's why he works at night and during the day he recipe tests. <laughs> Maybe what if he owned, what if he owned a candy factory? Um, and the the name of this candy factory is it is Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Uh, uh, that's it. That's the we story. found it. We found it. We are headed to our favorite place in the animal kingdom. I don't care. Okay, that might be a stretch. No, I think you're right. All right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh, definitely one of our favorite eating establishments uh, uh, at the animal kingdom, Nomad Lounge, which is a which is a table service restaurant. Uh, you, as, as Emma mentioned, the only way to do it is to either uh, sit at the bar or join the walk-up list. You can also get drinks to go um, uh, because the, the bar is probably one of the best bars here in Animal Kingdom. The indoor uh, area is basically like, well, hence the name Nomad. It's all about travel and uh, definitely our favorite place to be. It's also very relaxing. Every time we're here, we end up spending like two hours here. I love this and I'm so excited. This is my favorite place. I am so glad we're ending here because we will sit here. We will sit here for, for a hours. long time. And that's why I brought our game. Oh, oh. Did you forget about it? I did up until right now. <laughs> I brought a game. Okay, here's our game. Oh my gosh. So I realized, they just heard me talk about this. My husband and I have started where on Friday nights we will go to a brewery near our house and we will play games with our bicycle. Yeah. So this is one of our packs. I have like four or five at my house. Oh my gosh, I love the uh, Disney so design. So That's they so cute. Tons of Disney designs. And one thing I really like about bicycle cards in general is like when we come to Disney, it's to spend time together, it's hanging out with your family and yeah. friends. And I like to have cards on me growing up. We would play cards in lines. I like to play cards while we're having drinks and hanging out. And so it's really just like a good way to bring your family together, whether you're in lines, I know, at lounge, or yes. just at home. So these are these are our games. Are I love it. The, uh, that's a, that's a that's a, bicycle is classic too. That's that classic card. So and just. Oh my god, I love cute. it. I really love it. Of course, Minnie is the, the queen. queen. But they have tons of different designs. They have tons of Disney designs. So it's just a fun thing to play. When we go out to eat, we'll play certain games. But yeah. neither of us can remember the rules because yeah, yeah. it's been so long. And do you know who has the rules? To every single card game in like really easy to break down info. Is it bicycle? Bicycle's oh my gosh. Bicycle's website. That's so funny. So we've been trying to play different games 
like every Friday. Okay, well Sage works on shuffling. I ended up getting my absolute favorite, which well, is the high tower. I work on shuffling. Well, I meant that like was... not that you are getting better. I just meant like well, okay, well Sage is shuffling the cards perfectly. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I, I got the high tower rocks. This is what I get almost every time. It is Blanco tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juice. And as you can see, it comes with a nice little slice of watermelon. And then this is one of Sage's favorites. It's the Tempting Tigress. It comes with bourbon, allspice dram, tamarind syrup, and lime juice. So these are our two staples if you're here at Nomad. Wow, look at the spread. All right, so starting with our entree that we're going to split, because we've had a little bit to eat today already. We got the Bangkok crispy chicken wings for about $16. It has kind of this unique uh, caramel glaze uh, covered in peanuts and cilantro. And then we got the churros, which are arguably the best churros, I think, uh, in Disney World. I will also say the churros are gluten-free. Gluten-free, yep. And my sister-in-law is has really intense gluten allergy. We had like three of these. They were, they're so good. If you are, are gluten insensitive, I think this is a must for you. Yeah, and even if you're not gluten insensitive, these are just the just best have, churros. Have, they're so yeah. good. But that was just like an even better cherry on top five stars. Shall we? Yeah. Girl. You really don't feel it? I don't feel it. Do you feel it? Do you want us to train places? It's not bad. Well, we've had to move. Look at this disaster. Look at this disaster. <laughs> <laughs> we found a dryer case. We did, after after the debacle that was. And the servers were like, we've never seen we've it never this seen bad. Yeah, so, so this is the, But again, I would rather be stuck here than anywhere else in Disney World. That's right, so now we're going to try some food. Trilo Bikes. Yeah. Brick Wallet. Yeah. The cotton tamarind, cotton cotton top tamarind monkey. Yeah. Hippopotamus. Yeah. Who's the theory? Yeah. Meat Dale. Yeah. Wilderness Explorer Mount Everest badge. Yeah. Wilderness Explorer Animal Call badge. Yeah. Wilderness Explorer Forestry badge. Yeah. Nomad Lounge. Photo Pass Tiny World. Oh. And um, the pig, the deer pig. Why did we do twelve? Because that's what she gave us. Look at that! Oh. Kill it! I, I, I guess we did more. Hey. So what, what we're saying is we're like overachieving didn't even know it. Um, and I think that means we get to reward ourselves. A second round. Of churros. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I cannot say churros. <laughs> so uh, that's it. I'm very proud. Great oh. day. And then take your churro microphone. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now if you want to start the entire series from the beginning, you can do so on the channel right now. Check See one, two, check.